Got coffee going. Morning, baby girl. Look how tiny you are. Yeah. I'm getting the bacon going, and Gigi's getting ready to cook the pancakes. Bacon's looking good. I like to add some fresh cheese. You want this good hot crispy one on top? Love adding cheese to our eggs. Mixing it in there just gives it a very wonderful flavor. All right, let's pour your syrup, huh? Mm. Oh. Hot stuff, I tell you. Good Does that look stuff. good? Mmm, yummy. I put butter on it too. Here you go. You want your fork? Good boy. Mm, is it yummy? Yeah. <laughs> That's good bacon right there. Well, I buried the lamb in snow. And now that everything's starting to melt, it's starting to come through. But it stayed nice and frozen in there. It was a little heavier. We got this lamb at the Costco Business Center in Anchorage. So we are gonna go ahead and chop this up. It had thawed out just enough. So we're gonna cut it up into five sections. We're gonna have the neck, we're gonna have the shoulders, we're gonna have our ribs, we're gonna have our saddle, and we're gonna have our legs that we're gonna chop up and then individually chop those up from there. This is our meat bites, huh? Do you like meat? Yeah. yeah. This is the neck, so this is really good for flavoring if you want to do soups. And you want to get the shoulders off, you're going to find where basically where the scapula would end. Alright, so this is the shoulder section here. So Looks pretty good. We're going to end up cutting that up individually in a second. Now on to the ribs, and then we'll head to the saddle. All right. And as you can see here, beautiful rack of lamb there. Got some beautiful meat. All right, in the last section here, we got our saddle and we got our legs here. So you're going to want to find where the bone ends up here. Basically, it would be what you would call like the hip bone. And the this, this saddle's not super big, but it has what, uh, if you ever hunt deer, it has the tenderloin right here. The remainder of that tenderloin that come off the rack of lambs uh, above. So we're going to go ahead and chop that. It's basically going to come right through here somewhere. But let's go ahead and find it real quick. I'm feeling like this is where the hip bone ends right here. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed to cut right in that section. And uh, yeah, we found it, so we're not too deep. I'm just going to cut all the way around here. All right. So that makes a beautiful cut of meat right there. I'm doing this very simply because I like to have extra that's so I can have lunches throughout the week. Um, for when I'm at work. When it comes to slow roasting, I use typically the bottom of all the legs here. So upper legs, bottom legs, and then this here will be a nice little roast in the leg section. And again, this here will also be for slow cooking. So this is the upper portion of the arm, and then the shoulders are gonna be the roast, okay? Uh, when it comes to the ribs, I'm gonna chop them up and leave them long because I like to put them on the barbecue. And 
when it comes to your saddle here, the saddle here, it has both the um, tender loin and the loin itself up at the top, which is the same cut that that wonderful meat that comes from the rack of ribs is. It's what makes the rack of ribs so wonderful. So you can cut these out and save them as like, you know, the medallions and stuff like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get these forearms off here. To show you, here's my slow cook portions here. I got my neck, got my forearms, my back legs. And that's that's going to be slow roasted, and then the back here I'm probably going to have to saw through, but we'll see. Now you can take the time and take all the bones out of all this, and you know make it look real fancy and pretty, but. I just don't see the point when I know I'm going to eat almost all of it. There we go. And there's a nice little roast bone in, of course, but so you can kind of see where I cut. You can see that the scapula is here. Scapula is a very soft bone right here. You can just see it. And so we're going to cut away from the scapula and down into that arm there and cut these ribs basically off of here. So I cut these ribs, this upper portion, the shoulder ribs right off there. So now we got a nice little filet right here to cook up. All right, well, so this is our main cuts. We got our racks of lamb for, for our different ribs. We got our roasts here, both shoulders, legs. Um, everything's all chopped up here. All right, so we just got finished cutting up the lamb. So we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, marinade going for the lamb. I'm just gonna do a very simple marinade. I like a lot of rosemary and parsley, so I'm gonna do like a rosemary, parsley, garlic uh, marinade with olive oil for this uh, rack of lambs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that put together. I'm a big fan of rosemary. We got thyme, and we got some parsley here. We got our olive oil. All right, last but not least, we got our garlic here. Mix this up real quick. Gonna rub all this in here. Those look fantastic. It's a beautiful marinade right there. I'm gonna cook them slow, meat side down. All that garlic chunks on there. It's another beautiful day in Alaska. The lamb is looking fantastic. Been grilling it for about an hour and a half, so let's get it inside, cut it open. All right, looks good. Are you having fun with the light? Yeah, you seeing what's underneath the table? Do we got messes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, there's the lamb looking really, really good. What do you think, Dad? Looks good? Yeah, ribs. Let's eat it. <laughs> ribs, let's eat it. Well, he's eat it in Hawaii every once in a while. He's much younger. I think it was a thing. That's cool. In Hawaii? Yeah, it's pretty cool. They have several Greek restaurants. We eat gyro sandwiches, too. But yeah, I've, had lamb and like, ribs and I've had lamb. gyros, yeah. I just feel like, yeah, it's just, this is like something really different. I'm going to chop it up. So we got long ribs here. There it is. Give it a shot here. Oh, it looks so good. All right, so I made some more of that marinade. Uh, the same marinade that I did but I made it with butter for a dipping sauce. So I'm gonna dip it here, just to have a little extra flavor on here. All right, so we're gonna give this a shot here. Wow. That is good, I'm glad I bought that. Very, very good. All right, time to eat up. It is so tender. Very good.
Lexi Lee scroll fast. I'm doing that glue and that's all this will be. Mm. Okay, so I'll have the right over here and then put this back on. And then I need to melt butter. Not sticking in. Not sticky anymore. And I pat it down everywhere. Hmm. And then I put a towel over it. You got butter, heavy whipping cream, mm -hmm. vanilla, a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. a bunch of powdered sugar. Two pounds. It's rising a lot. Nothing fancy, just a roll it on. Melts into them beautifully, though. Mm, it does. This is what they look like when they are done cooling. Ooh. She wants a cinnamon roll. Oh my goodness, yeah, her would bite it. She would, if she had a chance. All right, Gigi, finish the cinnamon rolls. Ooh, these look so good. All right, I'm gonna go for it here. With the middle piece, my favorite. Mm, that was so good. Mm. Homemade is so much better. That's the way right there. Huh? Yummy, wish we could share with you. Yeah. So when we got home after having Blakely, we had some uh, more surprises for us um, from our baby registry. And we're so thankful and blessed to have your support. So we just wanted to show you what we got and um, say a few thank yous. Um, so here we have clothes from Kelly, which we really appreciate. They're so stinking cute. Can't wait to put them on her. And then we also got a baby lounger from Barbara, which we can't wait to try. It has a cover, pink cover, so it's perfect for her. And then um, Bob was very generous as well and sent us all this for um, Blakely. Um, so, and he also um, sent two fishing poles. So Harrison already took his and he uh, has already used it in the bathtub. He's so excited about it. So he couldn't wait. So we really appreciate you thinking of Harrison as well. Um, and then we also got another um, sleeper. Now this one didn't have a name on it, so um, sorry we don't know who sent that to us, but we are very thankful and appreciate it. It's too cute with the deer. We also wanted to thank Deb um, for this really pretty card and handwritten note, and also a Costco gift card. Um, we will definitely put this to good use. As many of you know, we love Costco. And then we want to thank Scott and Roxanne for this super cute bath set. It has a little robe with pink sheep. And then it also has the matching towels and rags. And then as well as we want to say thank you for this sweet card, um, handwritten card as well. We also wanted to thank Paul and Jackie for contributing to our diaper fund. You guys have been so generous with that. Um, we have gone through so many diapers. It's unbelievable. You forget. Um, 
how many you need. So we really appreciate you guys um, contributing to our diaper fund. And then we just want to say a big thank you once again to all of our viewers and supporters. We could not do this without you. We are so blessed to have um, all the love and prayers. Um, and we just hope you're enjoying our videos and that you keep following us because there is a lot uh, more that's going to be coming up real soon.